I'm Amy. Today I'll be leading you through three moves that you can do with just a pillow. So we'll perform 10 reps of these three moves and I'll show you different options and modifications for different intensity levels along the way. First move that we're going to do, the first move we're going to do is called pass the pillow. So we'll begin laying down on our backs. You'll place the pillow between your feet. Lay all the way down, arms reach up overhead, reach the arms and legs up, pass the pillow from your feet to your hands, and then arms and legs come all the way back down. That's one rep, we have nine to go. Ready, set, go. So pulling the belly button in, making sure your lower back is pressed up against the mat, and a lighter option is with your knees bent, and you can pass the pillow between your knees and your hands. Here's four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's do one more pass. And bring it in, very good. You can just roll over onto your side, push yourself up, and the next move we're gonna do is a plank to a push-up to a pike. So we'll be start in a plank position with the pillow on the mat that is just below your chest. So you can come onto your knees or your toes. You're gonna perform a hand release push-up. So you're gonna lower yourself all the way down to the pillow, release the hands up off the floor, push yourself up, right hand reaches for the pillow, passes it to the left foot, hips come up to a pike, lower the hips back down to a plank, hips back up, bring the pillow back under the chest and lower yourself back down for a hand release push up. So that was one, we have nine to go. Push up, pike to a plank, pike to a plank and push up. Here's three. Four, five, six, almost there. Okay, we have two more. Another option, you can come down to your knees, push yourself up, passing the weight or the pillow to the knees or the toes, lower back down to a plank, back up, and coming back down for your knees for a push up. Last push up. One and done. Okay, the final move that I'm gonna show you is a high-low plank. And we're going to be balancing the pillow on our lower back. So the key to this move is to try not to let the pillow roll off the back. And a good way to reinforce, this is just a great way to reinforce proper form while holding a plank. So try not to let your, let your hips shift side to side or your torso become wobbly and unstable. So you'll come into tabletop position, bringing your pillow onto your lower back. So this can be done on your knees or on your toes as if you were doing the push-ups. Uh, so you can have, start with your wrists under your shoulders on your hands. You're gonna lower yourself down to your forearms and then come back up to your hands. So you're lowering yourself down and up while in a plank or in tabletop. And then you would switch arms down, down, up, up, and alternating arms down, down, up, up. So that was four, let's do six more. I'm gonna try it on my toes, 
Lowering down, down, up, up. Really trying to keep the hips stable and still, parallel to the floor. Okay, that was six. Let's do four more. Down, down, up, up. Okay, two more. Down, down, up, up. Last one. Ooh, one and done. And then you can just slowly lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Keeping the pillow balanced, very good. And then you can remove the pillow and then you can use the pillow to rest your cheek. You can bend the knees, windshield wiper the feet side to side. Good, and then bring them back to center, lower them down, and then you can push yourself all the way up, keeping your feet and legs on the floor. So just lifting the chest up as high as you comfortably can. Good, and then lowering yourself down. And you can even rest on the other cheek now. And same thing, bend the knees, windshield wiper the legs side to side. Okay, and then coming back to center, extend the legs back down, push yourself up and back into child's pose. And then walk your hands towards you. So I'm just gonna go through a couple more stretches, but if you'd like a longer or harder workout, you can certainly go through those three moves again. So let's get our pillow. And we'll have a seat on our pillow in a comfortable position. So you can crisscross your legs or you can extend both legs out. And then we'll open up the chest, stretch the arms. So the three moves we did today were the pass the pillow. So passing the pillow from your arms to your legs for 10 reps, 10 passes. And then the next one we did was our hand release push up into a pike. So passing the pillow from the hand to the opposite arm, opposite leg, and then bringing the pillow back down to the mat for a hand release push up. And then the last move we did, my favorite move was a high low plank while trying to balance the pillow on your lower back. Let's interlace the hands, reach forward, Take a deep breath in, reach up, bring the palms together, and draw a strong line right down to your heart. And those are your moves. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time.